Hey guys, so I went to Harbor Freight and I bought these gloves. These are the cheapest gloves they have. They're split leather uh, and they barely fit my hands. Barely get my hand down in there. Um, I bought these for a couple of reasons. Um, we have a lot of pokeweed around here and you need gloves to handle pokeweed or you get a rash that looks suspiciously like poison ivy. I call it pokeweed poisoning, uh, but you don't say poison ivy poisoning. It's the same type of reaction as poison ivy. You get an oil on your skin and it comes up and it's irritated for three, four, five days a week, I don't know. And you treat it the same way you do poison ivy. You basically get a steroid shot or you put a steroid cream on to help with the swelling. I'll probably use them, wash them a couple times. I don't expect them to hold up that long. I ended up paying 80 cents a pair for these. So when I bought these, it was a pack of 10 for $9.99. I used a 20% off coupon, so I got them for $7.99. When I put that item number into their website, that item number didn't exist, so I can only assume that this was created by the local store. Uh, so I bought 10 pair, and I thought, well, what am I going to do with 10 pair? I really only need one, maybe two. And these are cheap gloves. Wow, are they cheap gloves. But I do wood carving, and I thought, I can make use of these. I can cut the thumb off and make a thumb guard. And cut fingers off and make a thumb guard. So if you don't do carving, uh, you use these gloves and they help with slicing. They don't help with stabbing, but they help with slicing. Uh, and when you're pushing cut, most cuts you're okay, but a lot of cuts you do this. As you can see, my thumb is there. And I normally don't wear a thumb guard. I've never cut my thumb, but I want to keep saying I've never cut my thumb, so I want a thumb guards. Now this is a very tight fit on your thumb. I don't like wearing two of these, and they're interchangeable. They're not specific. Um, I don't like having these fingers. This is the one, this is the hand I gripped a knife with, so I want most control with a knife. So this would help, but I just want the thumb covered. It, to me, it makes gripping the knife too awkward. So I thought I'd try this method. I would cut the thumb out. That's about the length of my thumb, but it's awful wide. So I wanted to play around with it. Okay, so I cut the fingers off. There is some black felt in there. Thumb. So here is one of the fingers. I can pull that on. So now can I use this? Okay, that's going to work exactly how I said. I don't need a lot of dexterity in this thumb. It's really just a pull. I've also got to be able to press like this. Probably need to shorten that a little. I was afraid this would be too long. So if I turn it around, that's probably more what I want. Yeah. So that's more what I want right there. So that worked out well. So what about the other fingers? So I'm eventually going to cut that at some point. It's not going to be lasting forever. Uh, this was the pinky. <laughs> I'm not sure my thumb's going to go in that pinky. Actually, being a little shorter, it's okay. Fits pretty good too. work well. That actually goes on a lot tighter and it actually works better and it protects the end of my thumb. I thought I would have to take some of this and wrap it to make it stay good but this actually works pretty good. 
Am I out of uses for this? No. So Frugal Me wants to use everything, by the way. So what I can do, so I've got this little piece I cut out of the hand. I can lay that on my thumb. Come up here and make a custom thumb wrap. Now, a lot of people use this red stuff only. That does not provide enough protection for wood carving. Your knives are too sharp, or they should be. There, remember it only sticks to itself. So I have the red holding leather in place. So here again, I've got full movement. I've got my dexterity. I can do this. And I can do this. And I'm protected. So, different options here. Uh, th four of the fingers worked as is. One I cut and wrapped. This was a spare piece of leather, and I've got three more spare pieces of leather. You might be able to get one or two more if you take your time and go through this leather, but to me that's trash. Okay, so I got nine out of a glove. I paid 40 cents a glove. I think that's a pretty good payback. You might be able to get more if you go through this a little better than I did, but when you start getting into the seams, I don't like to deal with that. It makes it too thick and you lose your dexterity and I don't really want that. Uh, so, there you go. Not only can you use it for poison ivy and pokeweed and for handling metalwork, you also can use it to make thumb guards for your wood carvings. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.